Hey friend, Nathan here. Let's talk trills. With a traditional trill, you're hammering on and pulling off quickly between two notes. With a cross string trill, you're playing those two notes on two different strings so your fretting fingers don't have to move. All the effort has shifted over to the plucking hand as you quickly alternate plucking between those two notes. I first learned cross string trills because I hated traditional trills. They were too much effort for too little reward. And at the end of the day, cross string trills just sound cooler. And instead of one finger having to do all the work with those hammer-ons and pull-offs, I could split the effort between four plucking fingers. So. Call me lazy, but I feel like the math kind of speaks for itself there. Even if you're not playing music that specifically requires trills, I'm gonna show you how incorporating cross string trills into your practice will clean up your plucking hand technique and make your scales and arpeggios tighter, more controlled, more efficient, and faster. I composed that little study for you to use as a fun musical exercise to practice your cross string trills and everything that we talk about today. So make sure you download the tabs and sheet music for it for free at beyondtheguitar.com slash trill, or just click the link down below. Again, completely free, my gift to you. But what's really happening in this flurry of plucking that creates this cross string trill. There's a very specific plucking pattern that you wanna use that's optimal for efficient string crossing and speed in your cross string trills. And that's A, or ring finger, then I, or index, M, middle, and P, thumb. A, I, M, P. So again, we're alternating between two strings here. You start with your A finger on the higher of the two strings, then down to I, back up to M, down to P, then rinse and repeat. A, I, M, P, A, I, M, P, A, I, M, P. The key to building speed and accuracy here is what we call sequential planting. When one finger plays, the next finger immediately plants on the string. So when my A finger plays, my I finger immediately plants on the next string. When it plays, my M finger plants. When my M plays, my thumb plants. Then when my thumb plays, my A plants to start the sequence over again. Sequential planting like this trains your fingers to stay close to the strings at all times and to get on the strings quickly so you have no wasted finger movement. Whether it's trills, scales, or arpeggios, the biggest speed and accuracy killer is excess finger movement where your fingers are kind of flying way out here between each stroke more distance that your fingers have to travel means more time that it takes for your fingers to travel that distance and increased likeliness of missing their mark and missing the string. So start really slow here to give yourself a chance to get used to this pattern and to sequential planting. Speed shouldn't even be a thought until this cross string pattern is second nature and your fingers are really just snapping immediately into place with sequential planting. Then you can use a metronome to gradually increase speed. This sequential planting is one of the factors that causes cross string trill practice to improve the speed and accuracy of your plucking hand technique in all other areas of your playing. 
I find that when I'm consistently incorporating cross string trills in my practice routine with a focus on sequential planting, even just after a few minutes, my fingers start to settle into the strings in a way that they didn't previously. They find the strings and snap into place quicker and more accurately and the controlled, efficient movements I've developed from the sequential planting carry over into my scales and my arpeggios. Now, the other factor is this AIMP pattern that we use in cross string trills is a different pattern than our fingers generally see or are used to in scales or arpeggios. So by exposing our fingers to this different pattern and this different sequence of movements, I believe this helps balance out the strength and coordination of our fingers and builds up any fingers or finger combinations that might be weak links that have been holding us back in the past. So download the tabs and sheet music for that little cross string trill study I composed for free down below and use it to incorporate cross string trills in your practice in a fun and musical context, focus on sequential planting and reap the rewards of a stronger, more efficient and faster plucking hand. If you're still here, you must have liked the video. So do me a favor, hit that like button. It helps out a ton and leave me a comment. Let me know if you plan on incorporating cross string trills into your practice now. And as always, here's to making the music you love and making it on your own terms. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.